Welcome back to another episode of Brothers Boosted. Today we're going to try out Meguiar's Headlight Restoration Kit. I've watched a few videos on it and I mean there's plenty of videos so obviously this one's kind of pointless but I'm still making it just to make it. Let's go ahead and open this right up and we're going to see what's inside. So we've got the little grip, two different types of sandpaper, we've got the polisher for our, for the drill, then here we've got the headlight coating and the plastic cleaner and polish. has all the instructions, hopefully it works out. Saves me from having to spend a thousand dollars on more headlights, even though I would love to have them, it's just too much. Outside it's a little windy, it's nice out, so hopefully you'll be able to hear me. If not. Uh, I apologize. Uh, I'm looking into buying a new camera right now. Currently looking at the Sony A3600. Right now I'm using the SJ, uh, the SJ6 Legend. It's pretty much a, a cheaper version of the GoPro. That's what it looks like. It's it's cool. I like it. It's what I've been recording videos with for a little bit. Uh, but I kind of would like to be able to upgrade. We're going to be doing a lot of stuff to the Subaru and also the Miata here soon. The Miatas are finally going to start working on the turbo on it. I'd like to have a little bit of a better camera. Use my SJ6 Legends. I'd like to use those as backups. So if you've got another camera aside from the A6300 that you recommend. Or if you do recommend the A6300, let me know. Anyways, we're going to get started on the headlights. So let's go ahead and do this. Here's everything you're going to need. Uh, this is all part of the kit, obviously. You're going to want to get some of this, because you're going to want to mask off all this. You don't want to scratch that up. I mean, my bumper is already not all that pretty. I'd rather not mess it up any more than it, than it already is. Uh, you're also going to need a drill, clean microfiber towel, some water. doesn't have to be distilled. Let's go ahead and get started. Start by cleaning off any excess debris anything like that. It's recommended that you use some sort of glass cleaner or something like that, but I'm not really too worried about it. Using a microfiber towel, make sure to get anything excess off of it. Now we're going to start masking it off. And I'll use time lapse for this part, don't worry. That's what it'll look like completely masked off. Not the prettiest, but I'm not too worried about this around here. I like the little dark edges. My main worry is the headlight itself. Grab your thousand grit. Take that right on there. It says you need to bunk it in water or constantly spray it. I don't have a spray bottle. So we're just going to sweat it up. Now we're going to do side to side motion. Now we're going to go up and down. You want to use like an overlapping pattern. And that's what it should kind of look like. Frosted, dried, nasty looking. Wipe it clean. Let's see what it kind of looks like. Not sure how well the focus is on it, that's why I want to get a new camera. Because I cannot focus, it's just automatic. You see it's frosted and not all that great looking. Set aside and it's on, let it dry. Grab your 3000 grit. Now with your 3000 grit, you're going to do the exact same thing. Back and forth, up and down with overlapping passes. in the sun it's looking a lot better already so now, now we're gonna grab our polish pad here attach it to the drill I don't have it set very high you don't need that much torque you just polish it. it says on the instructions you only need about a nickel size right in the center and it's a little more than a nickel 
rifle, but it'll work. Now you just kind of face it face down, start polishing. I'm going to go to the side to side motion like you were with the sanding and then overlapping that as well. I got kind of a first coat on there. I'm going to do some more. The faster you drill, the more cutting power it has. Keep that in mind too. Don't go crazy because you don't want to slip it and scratch your car. Just be mindful of that. Something I didn't really pay attention to is you're supposed to remove the coating in between each one. We're going to do that. I even though there's two on there. I'm going to give it one more. Then we're going to move on to the next step. I ended up running upstairs and grabbing invisible glass. This out of the can, way better than the bottle. I got another microfiber towel. Because if I'm going to do it, I might as well do it right. Make it work. So we're going to go ahead and spray that real quick. Get it cleaned off before we go on to the next part for Meguiar. And the final process is grabbing the little black pad and the headlight coating. Shake it up really well. So this is pretty much use enough of this to soak this pad, but I think that'd be a little much. We'll see. Side to side, up and down. It says if you get any on the paint, you trim, anything like that, immediately move, remove with a microfiber towel. It's got a couple places exposed. This is the drill. I'm gonna let that dry real quick. Just kind of tap, see if it's tackier if it's dry and it's pretty dry looks good go to the other side before i think this was the the one that wasn't so bad on this side see how frosted and dull it is and then how clean this side is yeah i'd say that's way better so for the other side i'm just going to do a complete time lapse of it just so that way you can kind of watch it unfold a lot faster and see how much it actually works Interruptions. Back to it. Real quick, I just wanted to show kind of a, a before and after the polish. So you can see it's kind of roughed up from the 3000 grit, and then over there it's after the polish. Okay, back to work. Drill died. Drill's charged. Now that it's completely dry, it's not tacky at all. Nothing inside of it. We're gonna get a quick coat of invisible glass. One last wipe down. One tip is whenever using this stuff, obviously I didn't read it too well, pour enough headlight coating to the wet gray applicator pad and apply to headlight. Pour enough. Don't soak the applicator. The applicator. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera or not, but you can see some runs of where I applied it, but I mean, that's only if you're looking really, really close. It works. I definitely suggest it. Get this cleaned up and then we're gonna finish off the video. Much, much better. I think I'll actually be able to see you tonight. Trust the old Miata. We'll be uh, doing videos on that here soon, hopefully. I'm ready to get the turbo on it. Very happy with this product though. Worked really well. That'll be it for this video. Now I get to do my neighbor's go figure. He's hired me to do his Jaguar. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment if you have any questions. We'll see you in the next video.